So our boys tennis team for Sultana High School 2022, our number one singles was Ramsey, number two singles was Jose, our number three singles was Oscar, then we had our number one doubles which was Juan and Adrian, our number two doubles was Sean and Fabian, and our number three doubles was Kenny and Joey. Our alternates were Jack, Carlos, and David. What an amazing group of boys. I remember last year at MRL that this team was gonna be so special. I just knew that I could make these boys champions. <laughs> and if they just listened to me, worked hard, that it would happen. So I just remember that summer, I was making plans, I was writing down, I was looking up just tons of stuff, research for tennis, drills and everything. How can I teach this? How can I teach that? All different ways. And I was buying little you know toys to kind of help out with that and it was truly amazing to hear somebody tell me hey oh yeah the team the boys team is on the tennis courts at lime street like three times a week and i was just blown away i was just like they're going out on their own to get better and that just fired me up so much to do whatever I could to make them great. So um, during the summer, a lot of them came to a summer tennis camp. And then uh, during preseason, a lot of them came to the girls' tennis matches and also to the practices. And they just worked their butt off, you know? They were just really just trying to get better. And they were trying to recruit you know people because we only had nine players so for them to recruit you know three more it really does make a difference we, I remember, we had like morning practices super early in the morning it was even tough for me i mean but i really liked it because i got my workout done early and i was like dang i'm done I knew how dedicated they were because they were showing up and it was more than 50 percent of them were showing up to these pre-season workouts and practices and I just appreciated that so much and as a coach how can you not want to do more for your team you know when season came around man I just I was nervous and I just you you see them in practice and you're trying to see if they're going to be able to apply it in the map so i was very curious to see how certain combos were going to work out you know i saw them in practice and i'm like that looks like a good combo that looks like a good combo that placement looks good and you know i just told them have an open mind we might have to change it up like all the time so you know don't get comfortable you know and just trust me i remember having a talk with them and hey I don't care if you don't like the person that you're with, just know that I see something and this is what's going to be best for the team. Not what's best for one individual, but what's going to be best for the team. And they really took that to heart. They didn't complain at all. They just were like, okay coach, yep, put me where you need me to be. And uh, trust me, we did a lot of changing. I, I switched people to singles to doubles, and I switched double players to singles. I finally found that lineup that I just sent. There was this couple matches where I was like, that combo is not working at all. I found one that worked. Three. It's Dan Day today. Three it's Dan Day. It's Dan Day today. <laughs> you know, on Pi Day, 3 14, 2022. Hey, he's gonna call it up. Hey, this is Dan Day. Oh, like Elden Ring. Maidenless. Sorry, Dan. You go Dan Day on three. One, two, three. And we go Dan Day. All right. All right. Five, yeah.
Say Go. Dan Day on three. One, two, three, and then we all yell Dan Day. Yeah. Dan Day on three. One, two, three. Dan, Dan Day! Day. <laughs> <laughs> this season was awesome, man. We were just winning and just kicking butt. We were competing and just getting them experience was awesome. Scorpions tournament, Fabian and Sean got second place and then Ramsey got third. Uh, we played a tournament down the hill, first serve tournament. We got annihilated, but that's okay. Uh, it was just a really cool experience. Look how nice it is. So it's great here to be I'm live. Get some video. Get some video. That car? Oh. Suck bug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so nervous for Beak because if we don't get it together when we need to, as a leader, need to figure something out that's going to make it work or I just need to find drills where I can really help these kids out and I'm just like man this is the team that can make it that can do it do something that I couldn't even do even all the titles I've won I didn't win league with my team in high school not college but this group is so special and I just I see the finish line I just need to get there. And I think the hardest part about being a coach is that all I can do is just give you the tools. Whether you take it or not, it's up to you. And it's up to my team in order to do it. I just, I want them to succeed. And they will. You know what? They will. They're gonna. And I'm gonna find a way, I'm gonna find a strategy where we can get there. This is so cool. I can't wait to put this in my office. Like, how freaking cool is this? Hopefully we can get another one of these. Um, first surf tournament, it's gonna be tough. But, you know, if we can bring another bad boy of these home. I can get used to putting plaques up in my office. So that's gonna be nice. And a banner. CIF banner. League banner. Best coach banner. And guys, come on. Let's do this. Let's win, all right? I don't know why I'm stressing. I shouldn't stress. We're gonna win. I know. I know. I know. second round I was so nervous and our first one was Apple again but it was at their house we pulled it out 10-8 our next match was Burroughs whole way down there I was just this is it this is gonna determine if we're gonna be first in league or we're gonna be second. I had so much fire in my chest that I just needed to let it out. So I remember after the lineup, I was like, I'm gonna get these boys fired up and we are going to win today. Burroughs is not gonna be undefeated for the second year in a row. We are gonna be the ones to beat them 
to solidify the win. And that can happen today, all right? Do not let them pressure you or anything like that. Don't let them intimidate you, all right? I know you're nervous, but who gives a shot, all right? You guys are gonna go out there and do the best that you can. And you just run down every ball that you can, all right? Just give it your all today because today is the determining factor if you're gonna be first or second, all right? So just give it all you got, all right? You fired up? Yeah. Are you fired up? Yeah. Are you fired up? Yeah. Are you fired up? Are you fired up? Are you fired up? What time it is it? Don't let it be Fired up! 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 Oh my god, I wanted to beat them so, so bad. Man, we did so well today. Ramsey was sick, but he still pulled a win out for me. Jose, Oscar, they both pulled a win out for me. Kenny and Joey, they won two of their matches and they beat the number ones. Oh my god, that was huge. And then Juan and Adrian won all their matches. And then Sean and Fabian at least won one. We tied, but we got the win because we had 86 games against 77. Holy cow. So proud of you boys. I am so excited. I am so, so, so relieved. Oh my God, I was just shaking, but I knew you guys could do it. What a game changer. Oh my goodness. Love you guys. Sleep good tonight. I know I am. Gonna celebrate later this week. <laughs> I have to work tomorrow, so I can't celebrate too hard tonight. But I will celebrate. Love you guys! <laughs> and all I could say was, I don't think Burroughs is undefeated anymore. <laughs> champions like we did it this has not been done in 15 years for the boys and I did it with this team and I am just over the moon they worked so hard and all their hard work paid off and then we get to go to CIF and then an MRL Juan and Adrian made it to the finals and got second and Ramsey had to play a rouge in the semis, but he worked his butt off to get number three. And it's a good thing he did because he was able to go to CIF because a rouge backed out and he got to go. An amazing year. Number one league champion. Made it, got second in MRL for doubles, third in singles. And I got three players to go to CIF. And we got to go to CIF as a team. What more can a coach ask for? Yeah. Right. Andrew, you a bitch? No! What about you, Jay? I ain't no bitch! Why you sure? No, no! I know that one ain't no bitch! Woo! Woo!
don't know what to do. It's about you. It's about me. It's like real talk, talk your shit. Real talk. It's about me, bro. I'm trying to be so, out here. So, let's win. For you, right? For you? Yes. For the Batman. For the Batman. For the Batman. Let's make it loud. Nice one. Winner there, huh? <laughs> hey, winner there. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. And I'll miss you. Rhea, why are you No, are you writing an article? What are you doing? This boy. No, you just you just write your name and your year and what you you and what you accomplished. Whoever reads that, they know I'm better than you. He's putting it right next to mine, baby. Oh, He's getting up and in there. <laughs> nice. You ready? I just want to thank you guys for everything. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for making me laugh. Thank you for being such amazing boys. You guys told me many times individually how you felt about me, how much I impacted you on your life. And I don't think you guys realize how much you impacted on my life. You guys have done so much for me. You have given me the love of tennis and the passion back into my life at the end of my college career. When I went to San Diego Christian, I had a coach that didn't know anything about tennis, didn't care about her athletes didn't show them the respect. She didn't go out of her way for us. And I just knew that is not what a coach is supposed to be like. And then for me to just end my tennis career on that and never reach my potential, never get to see what I'm really made of and have tons of people tell me, if you don't have money, you're not gonna make it, went into such a huge depression. And I hated tennis. I just couldn't stand it anymore. I didn't, I didn't want anything to do with it. And it killed me inside. It truly killed me because I love this sport. It has brought so much joy in my life. And it's gotten me places where I never thought I could go. And then to have it end like that, was awful, but God knew what he was doing because he led me back to the high desert. And a job opportunity came up at my old high school, Sultana High School, for the boys tennis team. 
and it took some convincing from four to five different people, but I took it and I don't regret it at all because you guys impacted my life and brought tennis back and I love it again and I just love being on those courts and just every day I get to look back at the back courts where those, the gate is and I just remember me hitting 300 to 400 balls every weekend with my dad so that I could get a scholarship, just get out there in the world and just have a head start. I just see that with you guys all the time, just constantly wanting to improve on tennis and always ask me for help and just create so many good memories to thank you so much for that because I just knew what I had to do. I just knew I didn't want to be that coach. I wanted to be a coach that was going to be there for her players. I wanted to be involved and I wanted to make a family. I wanted us to be just one. I just wanted you guys to love the game. And I didn't care if you were the number one. I didn't care if you were the number two, three, weren't even a starter. I didn't care. I wanted you to know that you were important and that you can do this and you can play and you can get better. And you all did, you all succeeded so well. I mean, you ended up getting, you know, a championship. You guys did it and you never played tennis before in your life. You should be so proud of yourselves because this sport is hard. It is so hard. And for you guys to just come together and do it is amazing. And you guys, I will never forget you. You guys are in my heart for life. You can call me, text me, you can come visit me whenever you want. I will always have my door open for you guys. So happy that I have this sport again because it has not only given me skills of how to play another sport, you know, to get in shape, it's given me opportunities to get an education. It's given me the opportunity to know what it takes to be a champion, how to work hard, how to be independent, how to show up on time, how to be there for others, how to do amazing things. And when you're tired, you still keep going. And it's given me so many relationships across the world. And I could have never done that if I never came back to the high desert. And I'm so happy that I didn't go pro or I didn't choose that path because I would have never met you guys. And I truly mean that. Sometimes that type of stuff means more. Having purpose in life is better than having money. And I just am so grateful and thankful that I got to meet each one of you and built an amazing relationship. Seniors, I'm gonna miss you guys so much. You have no idea. I wish you nothing but happiness, success. You guys are gonna do great things in life. I just can't wait to see you succeed. It's gonna be amazing. And for you guys returning, I can't wait to have another year with you guys. God, it's just so great to be alive. It's, it's a great day to be alive, isn't it? It's just a great day to be alive. Anything can happen in tennis, you know? Anything. <laughs> well, this is Coach FJ signing out. This isn't goodbye. This is just see you later. I'm going to the next coach, bro. Coach is my dog. You're just a good coach. You turned us into good players, and we weren't tennis players. I played soccer. Kenny plays basketball. Jack's still kind of mid, but he's getting better. He's, he's a bad kid. Dan runs. Sean hits sticks with, like, punching bags. Oscar never played a sport in his life. Or Jose. Adrian played soccer, and now we all play tennis, and we'd rather play tennis than all those other sports we used to do. And that's just because of you. That's not because, oh, this, tennis, this thing is fun. You made the sport fun. Because you were the person that taught us and took their personal.
personal time and, and told us about tournaments we could join in when season wasn't going on and letting us hit when we didn't have our season when it was during the girls' season and allowing us to be on the courts to play, teaching us this form and teaching us different techniques. And, and easily, you're still a university student, so you could have used all that time while studying and writing papers and took it out of your own heart to just teach us how to play this freaking sport that we all like so much. Like, you could see it even with the people that just joined, joined this year. They love you so much that we wouldn't be playing tennis if, tennis if it wasn't for you. Got to roll the dice, that's why All my life, I've been grinding all my life yeah. All my life, been grinding all my life yeah. Sacrifice, hustle, pay the price I gotta grind, won't stop Hustle, won't quit Shine like no other, I be on some other shit I got a high price, lifestyle, super bad bitch If I want it, bet I got it If I don't bet, all I gotta do is go Get, get, stay up out my bitch uh -huh. Ball till I fall Say what? Gloss until I finish I can't go, yeah, get it Okay, let me change my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like, um, you know, like anything can happen, you know? Dang. Yeah. What an amazing yeah. quote. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder who thought of that. I wonder. Oh no, bad white bitch, soup thick, I'm iced tea, she cocoa She got another bitch, them other bitch, her ass fat face so so No paper trail, no phone call, no uh -huh. emails, no photo Jet back shot, <laughs> that fat button, low blow head butts in slow mo Hey purple lady, polo and a cool, that's all I do Man, I strive her on my denim in the new Marjola shoe Man, we be cool and we jet pile in Oh my girl, we the Miley How you feeling today, man? How you feeling today, man? Oh, you recording, bro? Yeah, yeah. Shout out my son Tennis coach, Coach FJ, for believing in him. 